Welcome to the course on Master Microsoft Fabric, a complete end-to-end -end project along with CI CD. In today's data-driven world, understanding and leveraging advanced data platforms is crucial for any aspiring data professional. This course offers a comprehensive journey into Microsoft Fabric, guiding you from foundational concepts to the practical implementation of a complete end-to-end -end project. So we'll start this course from with a deep dive into the basic essential concepts like lake house, warehouse, one lake, and fabric data factory. So that these are going to bring you some solid understanding on how these components will interact with the Microsoft fabric. And not limiting to this, we're also going to explore the tools like capacity metric apps, and we are also going to learn how to seamlessly migrate the existing Synapse notebooks to the Microsoft fabric. So by making use of some powerful features, we can actually lift and shift the notebooks to the fabric. And as we progress, you will engage into an end-to-end -end project that brings all these elements together and we will create a robust CI CD pipeline that is going to seamlessly deploy all the code that we have developed efficiently and effectively. So any project is incomplete without the end-to-end -end project. So I believe in understanding the essential components end-to-end -end completely. And once we are good with the knowledge that we have gained, we are going to develop the end-to-end -end project and we are going to make use of continuous integration and continuous deployment. So coming to the end-to-end -end flow, we are going to build this project from scratch. So once we have the solid understanding on all the components, we are going to create a completely data-driven pipeline, which is going to have end-to-end -end flow starting from ingesting the raw data till serving it to the Power BI. So by the end of this course, you will have the knowledge and confidence to master the Microsoft Fabric and apply it to the real world scenarios and enhance your capabilities as a data professional. Let's embark on this journey together and unlock the full potential of Microsoft Fabric. If you are looking for a discounted coupon to enroll to this course, feel free to ping me over LinkedIn and I'll help you with the available ones. Let us now see about the prerequisites of taking this course. So the takers of this course need not to have any experience or prior knowledge on Microsoft Fabric. You will learn everything from scratch here. Since this is a tool that is relatively new in the market, you will learn what you need from very scratch, starting from understanding what exactly is Microsoft Fabric, why it is needed, what problem is it actually solving and what made it as a most demanding tool in the market where companies tend to migrate all the existing systems to Microsoft Fabric now. And one more prerequisite for taking this course is you might need to have an Azure account to perform some hands-on practicals because we'll be making use of your services in Azure like storage account to understand how exactly you can take the data from other cloud providers to Microsoft Fabric. And we also need to create Azure Synapse Analytics service so that we can migrate the data which is present in Synapse to Microsoft Fabric. And also in the end-to-end -end project, we'll be taking the data from Azure Data Lake Storage so that you would need to have an Azure account to perform the practicals along with me. And also you would need some basic knowledge on Python or PySpark and SQL or Spark SQL. Because we'll be making use of PySpark and Spark SQL to complete the end-to-end -end course by applying few transformations so that you would be beneficial if you have some basic syntactical understanding on Python or PySpark to complete this course end-to-end. -end. Also, you'd be greatly benefited if you have some basic knowledge on Azure Cloud. Since we'll be making use of subscriptions and creating some users to perform some real-time simulation while in the access control section. So you would be greatly benefited if you have some basic understanding on Azure Cloud. But this is not mandatory. We are going to do everything practically whatever you are needed to perform in the Azure Cloud. Now let us also see what you will be benefited from this course. You are going to get 21 plus hours of updated learning content from this course. Microsoft Fabric is bringing the new changes on rapid speed. 
I'll make sure to update this course on the features which are ready for production use so that you need not to have any limitations on using those services. So we'll be starting from very basics like what exactly is Microsoft Fabric Workspace to advanced concepts like migrating the data to Lakehouse, data warehousing in Fabric and its features. So we'll be having the deep dive into all of these concepts. So apart from learning individual concepts, we will implement the concept that we have learned by following a use case and we will build an end-to-end -end project. So any course you take should have an end-to-end -end project implementation so that with all the concept that you have learned, you will also need to understand how exactly you are going to implement these into the real world and along with the best practices. So I include an end-to-end -end project implementation to this Microsoft Fabric course by implementing a complete solution. And also an end-to-end -end project is incomplete without having the CI CD section. So we have a dedicated section for implementing the continuous integration and continuous deployment in our project so that we can understand how exactly we can take a deployment from dev environment to the prod environment. So this is one of the additional skill that a data engineer can have to stay competent in the real world. And by taking this course, you will get a lifetime access to this course where I'll be updating the content whenever Microsoft is going to release the products. And you will get a course completion certificate at the end of this course. However, having a certificate is in the proof of your knowledge. You will be upskilled with the most demanding data engineering tool, which is Microsoft Fabric. Now, let us see about the project architecture that we are going to implement for this project on a high level. So to complete this project, we will take a generated data set of LMS system, where this is going to have the information of students who have enrolled to different courses in an LMS portal. It is going to have information about enrollment date, the completion rate. So basically what is the progress of the students while taking the courses. So we are going to generate this data set manually. So this LMS data set ideally will be generated on daily basis. By the end of the day, the student have completed the enrollment. And we need to initially store this data set somewhere. For that, we are going to make use of Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 to initially store this at the landing zone. So to do this, we'll have an Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 account. Now, this storage need to be taken incrementally. Only the new data records will be appended to the landing zone. So we'll also be implementing this as an incremental approach. Now, we need to ingest the data from landing zone, which is present in Azure Data Lake Gen 2, to a lake house in Microsoft Fabric. So for that, we are going to ingest this data incrementally into a bronze layer. Since we'll be making use of medallion architecture, we are going to follow that as bronze, silver and gold layers. Since initially, bronze layer is something which will be having the raw data, we'll be ingesting the data as is, which is like in the landing zone. But we will do this as an incremental ingestion so that we will be not missing any of the data and also we'll be not loading entire data on daily basis. So this is exactly how we will do in the real time. So this bronze layer will have same raw data like the landing zone, but in a better compressed format. Now, we need to perform some initial cleaning and we need to apply some business transformations. So once we have cleaned and applied the business transformation, we are going to store that in the Silver Lake House. So all the business transformations and the data cleaning will occur at the Silver layer. So coming to the Silver, you can have one or many tables. It totally depends on the use case that you are going to have. Now, we are going to create a lake house for this, where we are going to make use of some PySpark language to perform all these transformations. So it's totally depending on up to you, whether you want to go with the lake house or a warehouse. So following along the course, we are going to understand what are the differences between a lake house and a warehouse so that you can have a better judgment to take the lake house or a warehouse. But 
For this course, we'll be taking a lake house so that I can cover both perspective of tables and files. Now this is where all the data will be cleaned and transformed. So with the cleaned and transformed data, we need to take that data to a gold layer, which is a lake house here. So you can have a lake house or a warehouse for the gold layer that totally depends on the use case and the skill set of the end users. If they want to create only the tables, you can use warehouse or if ever they want to use park, you can go with the lake house. So we are going to see how exactly we can decide in the coming lectures. But this is to just to show you what is the project architecture that we are going to implement so that you will have a better idea on this course. And once we have the data which is transformed in the core layer, in this core layer, we'll be creating the facts and the dimension tables. So in the real time project, there will not be only one data set. We want to segregate that into facts and dimension table. And also we'll be doing the data modeling just like in the real time. So we'll also cover that aspect of this course. And once we have this facts and dimension table, we are going to create a semantic model where we'll be taking this to the Power BI for reporting purpose. So Power BI is also an important aspect of Microsoft Fabric. So we'll be also covering all the aspect of that. But for the end to end course perspective, we are going to do the insights by reporting in the Microsoft Power BI. And you can not only with the Power BI, you can also make use of some data science or for analysis because the data will be stored in the lake house. So this is the advantage of storing the data in the lake house in the gold layer. So to create all these, we'll be making use of the fabric notebooks where we are going to write the PySpark code so that all the transformations and ingestion will go with making use of the PySpark language. And also we'll try to integrate all of these by making use of Microsoft Fabric Data Factory pipelines to have an end-to-end -end implementation. And this is going to give the data-driven architecture. So we are going to automate each and everything here so that the complete end-to-end -end pipeline will be data-driven. So this architecture is the one of the possible architectures of many. You can also initially store the data before reaching the bronze layer as a landing so that you can also create multiple core layers at the end. So it totally depends on how many teams that you are going to manage. Now, once you have everything, you would need to analyze the data, which is of LMS. So we'll also be creating some insights of the LMS data so this is one of the sample report which we are going to create so that we can see how many courses are taken by students and their performance in the LMS system where we are going to publish this report to the Power BI service just like in the real time project. And also any project is incomplete without having the CI CD section. We want to implement this course to the production level. So we will also integrate this with the Git so we'll make use of the issue DevOps to do that. So coming to the Git integration, initially in our end-to-end -end project, we will develop that in the dev environment where we will have all our items in the dev workspace. Then we will integrate it with the issue DevOps using which you can deploy all the items which are in the dev workspace to the production workspace. So we are going to do this end-to-end -end practically once we have developed our project in the dev workspace so that we are going to ensure all these will be deployed to the prod workspace. So this gives a full shape to the end to end learning by implementing the project. Let us also see about learning structure of this course. So before implementing the end to end project directly, which might require some solid understanding on basic features of fabric. For that, I designed this course to give you some basic understanding on all the stuff in the Microsoft Fabric. So you need to understand what are the individual components available in Fabric and you need to know what are the features inside of each of them. So I made this course to bring you some solid understanding on concepts like Lake House, Data Factory, One Lake, Synapse Data Engineering and how you can migrate the notebooks by making use of the Fabric and what are the benefits of the capacity metrics app and what are the components and features which are specific to the data warehouse. So since this fabric is a software as a service product, 
we will also see the Power BI features and also ensuring we are having access control and permission. Now, with this, you will be having the solid understanding on all the concepts that I have listed on the screen. And once we have a good understanding on these individual components, we'll implement all of these things by the knowledge that we have gained by implementing an end-to-end -end project. And along with that, we'll be using the Git integration to the project that we have completed. So this is the learning structure of this course where we will first individually learn each and every component and by the end we are going to apply all of this to create the end-to-end -end project along with the Git integration so that our pipeline will be end-to-end -end and it will be data-driven.